So this is Artisan Loom here once again with a lovely tutorial by um, Nix Haley 22 It is called the, and you know what, I can't pronounce it, Hatshepsut, Hatshepsut bracelet. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look that one up. That's pretty crazy. Hatshepsut? I can't say it. <laughs> Say it three times really fast. I don't think so. Anyhow, um, this is what it's called, and it is um, on Nix Haley 22's account. And uh, if you want to give her a follow, this is her account. It's really lovely. She does all the nine pin bar designs. So if you want to give her a follow, that would be awesome. Okay, we're going to try this. This is part of the Egyptian theme that we have going on with all the other bracelets like the king's armor and and um Nefer nefertiti bracelet and also well anyhow you get the gist it is uh, part of that theme so this is another one in the series and it is a nine pin bar setup just like this so these two and these two will be at the same height. Then you're going to go one up on either side and then two down and meet at a point. Okay, so I do not have the, this bracelet in front of me, but I will refer to it every now and again to show you um, which band placement we're going to do first. So I guess the first thing we're going to do well, go ahead and get your bands. You can use anywhere from five colors, six colors, four colors, whatever you decide. But I'm going to go with... Wow. Talk about some kid having some rage going on in there. I apologize for that. These colors. So I'm trying to make it, um, you know, in the Egyptian type colors that they use so anyhow I will show you as I'm going along they're not going to be all rainbow loom bands um, because they don't have the colors that I need so I'm going to have to supplement with some of the Trendex loom bands which I love but they are not very stretchy so um, you can they, they work great if you just do it over one peg but if you have to stretch do a long stretch they're not good for that they kind of have the same consistency of like the ellie bands so go ahead and get your hook go ahead and get your bands and um, your loom set up just like this and hopefully you can see i've used um well actually i see two more i see three more little space um uh, blue extenders that I could be using so I'm going to go ahead and put those on but that's why I got these long black ones that came in my valentine kit those are very convenient hopefully rainbow loom is going to come out with some but you want to um, get it nice and secure so it doesn't you know buckle but I'm probably going to go ahead and try to incorporate those other stabilizers I always use every available stabilizer that I can find so I shall return. Let me just get what I need and we'll get started. Okay, so I guess what we're going to do is we are going to make diamonds, okay, going up the center. And that's going to be the um, colors that are, let me see if I can find this again. Um, it's going to be these done in the Persian white. It's these, they're supposed to be diamonds, um, so, but they didn't, you know, they, well, I guess they kind of look like diamonds anyhow, um, but that's the part we're going to be um, laying along with the border. So, um, let's see here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with whatever your little diamonds are, um, first so I'm going to use um, this is the Trendex loom bronze that's what I'm going to use first and you're going to go from there to there I guess I should move that back and then there to there let's see if I can get you a little closer and then 
We're going to go out one more on either side. Okay, so one more on either, either side. And at this point, we're going to go ahead and bring the border out. So for the border colors, because this is going to be part of your border, but um, anyhow, I'm going to use black and I'm going to bring it down, one down and then one over. And that's how we're going to start the bracelet. I'm having a time. Wish I could do it in a way that I don't have my hands all in the um, in the way every time I'm trying to do this. So you're going to do that. Now, we, since we brought the black border all the way to the end, we're going to finish up our um, our our little diamonds. So you're going to go from there to the center and then you're going to go from that oops no wrong one wrong go and you're going to go to there so you're going to make a nice little diamond shape okay and then okay what we're going to do is we're going to continue out with the diamond shape and go to the left and we're gonna to go to the right. Okay, and we're just gonna, you can go all on one side or the other, but that's probably what I'll do. And then you're gonna go in and continue finishing off this diamond. So bring this right through, through the center. There, there, there there so see how we made these diamonds I believe we're going to do that all the way down the loom and that's basically what we're going to do so I will do one more and then I'm going to go off camera and finish all the rest of the diamonds so you are going to be going like this to the right two and then whoops come to the center Okay, and then you'll continue on going like this, okay? So you're just going to do your diamonds in that way. So you're going to, when you get to the point here, you're going to go to the left two, to the right two, and then to the left in, to the right in. And then keep going out in that same pattern all the way down the loom. And I'll tell you where you stop. Um, I don't think she went all the way to the very end, but... Um, you know, I'll, I'll show you where to stop, but just go ahead almost to the end and then I'll show you um, so you won't go too far. Okay, be right back. At this point, we're going to do X's up the side. So let me show you where we stopped at the top. Stopped all the way to the end. Okay, to the end of that one. Um, oh, there's, I thought I was. <sighs> okay, well, anyhow, we're going to do X's. And we're going to start on the second pin bar and go to the left and then go to the right. So on this side, we're always going to start on this pin bar and go that way first and then this way. Okay. And then when we get to the second one, okay, now when we get to this side, we're going to always start from here going over just like that and this that way it'll all look uniform okay so you go ahead and finish that all the way up to the end of the loom and I will meet you at the top to show you where we stop okay so go ahead and make your X's up before I get to the very top, I just realized I didn't uh, pronounce the name of this bracelet right. It is pronounced It's pronounced um, hot ship suit. Hot ship suit. That's how it's pronounced. Hot ship suit. So I'm just going to call it the H bracelet just because I can in hot sheep suit. Sounds like hot sheep suit. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to make fun of it. I just, <laughs> it was funny to me. Sorry. I will get back on track. Okay. That's how you pronounce it. Okay. Now when you get up here and you stop with your X's right there, you're going to bring one over. Okay. And one over on this side as well. And then let me get two more bands where this diamond, this diamond ends here. And we put this one going across there. We're going to make it going. Well, just lost it through there. Okay. We are going to put one over and connect it to that diamond. Okay. On both sides. And that's how we're going to end that. Okay. Just like that. All right. I need to. Calm down. I'm getting a little too giddy in this this one. Um, <laughs> okay, let me get off and um, and grab my next color. I've got to kind of figure that one out. It is looks like um, let's see here. Okay, so we just did the border and I. Well, I did it in black. And then the next one is going to be... Well, hold At on. At the beginning I said this white part, it was the border. It is the border, but what we laid here in the black, I was wrong. This, These X's are where this Persian black is. I was wrong on that because this has another border that's going to go on top of this. So... My apologies, but um, so the first color, well, you did your diamonds, and then these X's are going to be your where your Persians are right there, and then I believe we are going to start laying the bands that go in the diamonds, so apologize for that, man, I'm really messing this whole thing up, you'd think I've been drinking or something. Okay, well, let me grab the color that I'm going to use, and I believe this, um, yeah, let me figure out the colors that I'm going to be using for my center part, because I'm not sure just yet, so I always pick out my colors at the last second. I usually don't have problems picking colors. Um, they come very easy to me, so um, I've got like... Um, all my colors colors laid out here, but I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to put them. So let me figure that out, and then I'll be right back. At this point, you're going to do the what looks to be like a starburst in the center. But here's you here you start in the center here, and you go to the two o'clock position. You go out, and I'm going to use these. Um, it's in the 600 pack gold, and then so you're just going to go out there, and this one is going to be a long stretch to there. And then just follow it around on each peg. Okay, just keep going and push your bounds down at the same time. This one's going to be a long stretch. And then two, there's two more. So one here, and then you're going to stop with the one going up. Okay, there's a bunch of bands in the center there. Okay, now you're going to take another, some more bands, and you're going to start here, and you're just going to keep doing the same exact thing just go all long stretch these two will be a long stretch the rest will just go like normal okay so you do just like a normal starburst except for that one will be a long one okay and you, when you get done here you move on to the next one, which will be right there. Okay, so go ahead and finish your starburst, and I will meet you back. So, once you get that part done, the next one we're going to be doing, we're going to be laying this Persian black. Oh. Uh, we are going to lay the Persian black color, not this one. We have already done that one. We've already, and we're getting ready to do this black, Persian black, and then after that we'll do the blue, okay? So we're working on the kind, the ones closest to these uh, diamonds, okay? So for that one, I'm going to use, um, I believe it's by Trendex Loom, and it's called Earth. So 
that's the color it's like an earth brown that I'm going to be using too many bowls sitting here okay and so basically what we're going to need to do is we are going to need we're going to start right here on this third pin bar from the uh, from the right and we're going to go up one okay and then we're going to go out one and then we're going to go it's like a half starburst okay and we'll end right there okay see that half starburst we got going on okay the next is we're going to go up one more okay and then we're going to do the same thing just do the half starburst all the way up okay do like that all the way up the loom I'll do one more so at this point you want to go up one and then do your starburst or just bring it around and then you always start with going one up okay so go ahead and finish that part all the way to the end well I'll, let me show you this side too while I'm at it I may as well so we're gonna go up up one go down go out go up and then you're gonna go up one more and you're gonna go to the, the right and you're gonna go to the upper corner and then straight up okay and then you always finish it by going one up okay so that's the part we're gonna do now so when you get yours done I will meet you and we can move on to the next color which is I believe this one that's gonna go in here okay the next step is to do zigzags right up here and I'm going to use this um, oh, what's it called it's by Trendex Looms as well and it's called Midnight Blue okay so basically we're going to go from this um, pin bar and we're going to make zigzags all the way up the loom on both sides okay very simple, just zigzags the entire way. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Go from there to there. Well, I should push all these bands down. I wanna make sure I'm getting it. That's still what I've gotta do is push the bands down. Okay, so that's basically what you're going to do. You're going to do starting from here, going out, zigzagging, okay, all the way to the end. And um, I'll show you the very next step. I believe the next step is we're going to lay our, our actual border, okay? So, to this step and then one other, and then we can get on to the looming. All right. Okay, once you get that part done, we're going to move on to the border. So we're going to start here in the center, and we're going to just follow the border over. Just make sure you push your bands down. I wish I would have went through and did that first. Okay, and so you're just going to follow it. I'm really trying to use my left hand, but it's not working out so hot. Okay, there's that. Then you're going to follow it over to the to the right here I'm hoping the way that I've got these colors arranged that it's going to turn out what I'm looking for I'm not a hundred percent sure I was going to use a different color in the center because I had the bronze on the outside of the star or the diamond but I needed really stretchy bands and Trendex, um, their bands aren't as stretchy and I didn't want to uh, take a chance on breakage. So then you're just going to follow this up all the way down the loom. Okay, just follow that all the way down and then... Um, I think 
the only other thing is we've got to put cap bands in the center of every starburst. So you may as well go ahead and do that while we're off camera too. So you're going to finish up the border all the way down and then you're going to go ahead and put a triple cap band. I'd say a triple cap band if it's going to be really thin bands like the um, jellies or the 600 or opaque bands. But if you're using the, the thick 300 count, then you can get away with a double. That'd be fine. But you're going to go ahead and put um, cap bands in the center of all these starbursts burst that you, you did. Okay, so I will go off. You can finish the border and these um, cat bands. And then I think we're ready to turn the loom around and get going with the looming part. So, okay. So go ahead and finish that part up. This is what your um, loom should look like. And I've already turned it around. I've turned my loom around. Um, so this would be the top so I'm just going to show you what it looks like with the loom in the position ready to um, loop. So since we've already got our cat bands in the middle of all of these uh, starbursts we need a cat band right here. So I already put one on right there. This step we're going to go ahead and loom up the border. Okay. Um, so we will go in through I'm going to put a triple cat band. I don't know why. I, just, I had a double one, but I think I want a triple. Okay, so you're going to go in through the cat band. And you're going to grab the one that goes to the left. And follow that all the way over. Mine came off, but that's okay. Just stick it back on. And then to there. Okay, go back in the cap band, go to the right, <clears throat> Okay, go all the way to the end. Now you're just going to follow it all the way down and then go ahead, when you get to here, you're going to go in, down, and up to, you're going to go up here, in, down and up to and end it right there okay so let's go ahead and finish that part up okay now that you have all your um border done you're going to go in through each starburst and loop them back to themselves so it's whichever one's on top so we're going to go in through this triple cap band and since this um band is on top we're going to pull it down okay if i can get a grip Okay, go back in and grab the next one. And you just pull the very top band back onto itself. So this one will go all the way over there. And then back to the, just like this. Then you will do it the entire way around until you finish off your starburst. And then you will go to the next one. See, so that's what the first one's going to look like. Okay, now you're going to go in here and do the same thing. So you're going to go in through this starburst, grab this bottom one, bring it down. Well, did I do get the right one? Yes. Bring it down, go back in, grab this one. So you just, that's what you're going to do the entire way. Just get the one on top, bring it all the way around. And just continue on with all the starbursts until you get to the very end. And then I will meet you back. And then we will loop out the next step. Okay. okay so the next step we have is we're going to loop out what I have where these earth bands are. These brown colored bands. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in through this um, peg right here and go straight up, okay? Next thing is we're gonna go in through here and pull it to the center, just like that, okay? We're gonna go in through here 
and grab this other side of the earth band and bring it back okay just like that and then we're gonna go nope wrong 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 let me try to fix this and get these bands back in the proper order that they're supposed to be in and let me stand up so i can get a better view There we go, straight up. I was grabbing the other side of that band right there. Okay, so that's what we're gonna be doing. So, now we're gonna go um, up again. Up again. And now we're gonna go um, over here and grab the other side of the earth and bring it down, go in here to this starburst and bring it back. Now we're going to go in and get the one that goes straight forward. Okay? So basically they they're all going to come the ones that are that are out here are going to come towards the center. You'll go up two and do the same thing. So we'll go up one more. Come on. Go up one more. And then where these are, they will both come to here and then one up. Okay, last one I'm going to show you. And then one up. Make sure I got, oh, I got the wrong band again. Oh my goodness, because I'm sitting, I'm not getting a very good view. end up just because of the way that I'm filming. I was grabbing. There we go. So it will be just like that. Okay, you will do the same thing on this side. Over here, you'll go up one. Okay, and then you'll go in through this starburst, bring it to the center. And where did Go ahead and bring it down. For some reason, I thought that was the gold, the gold that I laid on the perimeter, and it threw me off. Or the bronze, I couldn't remember um, the name of it, but it just didn't look right from the angle and the lighting that I was in. Okay, so we went up one. Now we're gonna go up again. We're gonna go in and grab these bands and bring it to that peg okay this is where I always have the hard time I need to go in here and grab the one that goes forward okay one more I'm gonna go forward one more time okay come on okay going through this starburst and grab that bring it back and then we're going to go up. Do I have the right band? Yes. Yay. I grabbed the right band. And we'll go up another one. Okay. And then you'll start the process all over again. Okay. So when you get that part done, we will move on to the next step, which will probably be these blue bands. Okay. Now that we've got this, um, these brown bands straight up. Now we're going to work on the blue bands beside it. Okay, right there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in through this peg and bring it down. Okay. So we're going to go in here, try to find that blue band and pull it down. Now it's not going to make a, a full on, um, it's going to feel a little weird and a little tight, like it's not making a full teardrop, and it's not supposed to, just so you know. It's not supposed to do that. So um, you're going to go in and get the other half, or the other one, and it's just going to feel weird, because if you can see how they're, um, 
why why it's going to be like that. You see that because this um, this band is underneath that band. Okay, so that's what you're going to do is you're going to go back in here and you're going to grab this top one and bring it down. I guess I don't need to have it so close. And then go in here and grab it up. So this one you bring it down. And this one you bring it up. And you'll follow that all the way, that pattern all the way down the loom. Over here, you're gonna grab this um, band and bring it down. Then grab the next blue one and bring it up. Go in through this one, bring it down. And this one, bring it up. Okay, so that's basically what you're gonna do all the way down. And when I'll go off camera, and when you finish, I'll meet back here. This is what your loom should look like. You come all the way to the end. From here, you'll go down. Okay. Next step is going to be looping up your diamonds. Okay, so we're going to go in here. Grab the diamond color that goes that way. We can grab the diamond color that goes that way. Okay, and we're just going to take this very first one all the way out. Okay, so now we're going to go in and grab the black band. And then there's one more cross band that goes from here to there that we need to cross over. Okay, so that's going to link all this. So we're going to go in, grab the one that goes to the right. Go in, get the bottom band that goes to the right. You're going to grab this black band here. Go in. Grab the black band and bring it to the right. And then we got to get this band to link it all. Well, I'm trying to grab, I can't half see. Okay, and then we'll bring it over to the side. So that's how we're going to do this. Start here and just follow it all the way in, in, in there. Okay, now we're just going to connect all the diamonds together. Okay, we're going to go in and get that bottom one and bring the diamond in. Go in and stop right there. Go in on this side. Grab the bottom one, bring it in, go back in, and now we have the whole diamond um, looped up. At this point, you're going to go back into this band, or in this uh, peg, and if I can get a grip on it, wrong band. Back right. Okay, I'm going to go in, grab the one that goes to the left, grab the other one that goes to the left. I'm going to go back in here and just finish up half the diamond. Okay, now I'm going to go in here and grab the other side and just loop up the diamond. That seems to be easiest to me instead of doing right then left and right to the left. Okay, so now we have two diamonds done. So we can go back in here. Grab the one that goes to the left. Do the left side of the diamond. Then go back and do the other side. Simple enough. Okay, now I'm going to have you finish um, the rest of the diamonds go all the way down, going all the way down. This is how your loom should look now, all the way up. Okay, what you're going to do is when you get to here, you're going to loom out two and you're going to stop right there. Okay, and stop right there, both of these. This one and this one. Okay, you're going to stop. 
because once we get these black X's done and this cross black one here, we're going to connect it all to the center. So just, just stop on these two and just leave it right there. You'll never believe what happened to me while off camera. There's a spot and I believe it's right here. I turned away for a second, came back, and all this had snapped off. Don't have a clue how it happened. But there's my band. And I was at a point where I couldn't really fix it. I tried my best, and luckily it all should be held together from these diamonds, because that's kind of where the problem was. So... I have no idea what this is going to look like once I get it off the loom because of that spot. So I happened to be a rainbow loom brand, uh, band. I think it was a jelly I'm using, either that or a gold um, 600 count pack. But, you know, it happens. Things, things happen. I'm trying not to panic. I tried to put it back as good as I could. And, yeah. So... We'll see what happens when I take it off the loom. The next step is we are going to, and I believe it's the last step, we're going to do these X bands till we get to the top. So what you're going to do is you're going to go in through this um, last pin bar. You're going to get the one that's on the bottom and turn it to the left. And then you're going to go to the right. And you're always going to get the one that's on the bottom. So you're going to go in through this one to the left to the right, to the left, to the right. Okay, do that all the way to the end, just only until you get to right there, okay? So we're gonna do the same thing on this side. You're gonna grab the one that's on the bottom, which will be right here, and you're gonna go to the right. And to the left. Go back in here. Right. To the left. Go to the right. And go to the left. Okay, I'm going to let you finish that part and then we will meet at the top and I'll show you how to connect it and then we'll take it off the loom. Now that I have both sides done, we've got a, a band that goes well, we've got bands that we've got to connect going all the way to the center and stop here. So we're going to go in and get this black band that goes to the right. I'm going to get the next band that comes down. I should push my bands down. And then I'm there's, well, let's see if I can film this a little bit better. Got to go in here. It's, um... It's going to be this band here. So let me see if I can find it. Well, hold on. I don't know what I'm having such a hard time for. Unless that it got mixed up. Um, hmm. For some reason, let me check this. Hold on. Because for some reason it's... And I don't want my loom to fall apart. Let me see. I gotta get in here and either the bands got messed up or okay, I'm gonna have to fix something. Somehow this black band is not is on top or on the bottom, the one on the bottom one. Is on the bottom of um, of this band that we're trying to grab, so it'll fall apart. So let me get off camera and fix that real quick. I fixed it. For some reason it was on top of um, the black band was underneath this band, and so I had to to fix the band, take it off, and reattached it. Don't know what happened, but um, I got it fixed. You know. So that's all that matters. I don't know if I just told you wrong or if I just wasn't paying attention and doing it, but we're going to stop right here. Okay. And we've got to connect this side 
over here if I can grab it and get the one that goes downward. I need to pull push my bands down. I'm having a time. I think it's just because it's late. Okay, I'm gonna go in here and grab the one that goes there. So I had that one placed right, so I'm thinking that it wasn't anything I told you. I think I just kind of off camera messed that up. Okay, so we've ended it right here. We've come up, over, down, and ended it right there. Okay, now we can put a C-clip on. Boy, there's always something, always something with the bloopers. I probably could make a blooper reel with all my boo-boos. So I'm gonna go in through here, through all the bands. I probably actually should have done two. Let me do two because this is such a thick bracelet. I wanna make sure that it's gonna be extra strong. So I'm gonna grab two of my bands just like this and do like I just did. Go in. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. At this point I'm standing up. Okay. And you take these two and you put them both on your hook. I'm going to leave it on my hook without putting a C-clip on it because it's so tight. Oh my goodness, look at that. I can only pray that the one that went, I believe it was right here, just it just went like that. I turned away, looked back, and it was all just open and dangling there, and I had already looped all these up, so I'm hoping that somehow they connect. But if for some reason I take it off and it's messed up, it's not my fault. It's not, it's just, it's a band malfunction. Just like a wardrobe mal malfunction, it's a band malfunction. So I'm gonna check, make sure it looks like everything's loomed. I looped up, I hope. Now we're just gonna carefully take it off the loom by um, releasing the tension that's on the edge, okay? Cause it's pretty tight. My, it was already bowing. Okay, so I'm gonna do this off camera, this part, but I'll just show you. You just real carefully take it off. And I'm just really gonna say a prayer that it doesn't, isn't messed up too bad. It's so many bands used, I'd hate for it to be kind of a waste. because it does require a lot of bands for this bracelet. So I'm just taking it off a little by little, just so you can see. And I'll do the rest off camera. But basically that's all you're doing is releasing the tension. When you lose those rows, then you can go back and do each single one, okay? Just very carefully. As connected. How terrible is that? I've never had a jelly or a 600 count pack band bust on me right in the middle of a nine pin bar design. I just really thought I was going to die, honestly. So I'm going to let you finish this part, taking it off the loom, and I'll show you what mine looks like hopefully when I get done. So keep your fingers crossed. Okay, I just took it off the loom, stretching it out a little bit. Now you can see where my boo-boo is. Okay, don't know what happened. Can't really tell, if, so if I take that off, you can't really tell. So I really don't know what happened here. 
think I added a band when I was trying to fix it, and this one was the one I was supposed to reattach. So this is probably just a band that I can just take out. So wish me luck, because I'm going to snip it. I'm going to snip it. Please, please be okay. Yeah, got it. Wow, that was stressful. So I'm just going to pull on it a bit, get it the way that I want it. But I'm loving these colors other than I'm not 100% sure I'm liking that gold in the center. But, or the bronze. Well, anyhow, what you want to do is you want to go through and you want to fix your bands. Anything that's twisted or anything that you don't like, you just grab it, twist it, and say like that one. Oops, sorry. Grab it, twist it a bit. Oops. Let me just grab this side to get it back pulled back over. So you're just gonna mess with it and get it to where whatever color you want to be showing will show okay don't have a lot to clean up here these turned out pretty good as far as no twisting goes a little bit on the border there's a band that's twisted I'm gonna grab it and twist it between not a whole lot on the sides did pretty good on those. This one's got a little twist right there. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to do what? Grab it. Got to keep twisting it till I get it exactly. There we go. And obviously the Ellie doesn't need untwisting. There's some untwisting that needs to be done with the brown bands, though. So, say like that one. I'm going to grab it, twist it, get it to lay right. Same with that one right there. Grab it, twist it. So, I'm going to mess with this off camera. And I'll show you when I get it done what... Um, it's gonna look like it's pretty pretty neat design I'm just gonna clean it up a bit but see now if I can only pronounce the name of it so once I come back on after I get the bands all cleaned up the way I would like I'm going to pull up the um, name of the bracelet so that I don't keep messing it up and I'm going to hit the pronunciation thing a uh, little key and let it say the word itself because I I just can't pronounce it it's terrible I'm usually good at this kind of stuff but right now I'm not okay well I'm pretty excited so I'll be back once I get this all done here's my finished I went ahead and put a C clip on but this is the finished um, H bracelet I'm going to really have to practice the name but it's gorgeous. I'm loving the colors now that I'm thinking about it. I like it a lot. So hopefully you'll like it too. I'm going to show you a picture because I happened to take a picture of my loom when I just looked away. And then when I looked back, it was there. And I had my mouth, like my jaw was locked into place. And my jaw dropped and I had my mouth open and I was like, Ugh! but this is what it looked like. This mess right here. There's the broken band. So it was a mess and I had already looped all this stuff up. So it wasn't like I could, you know, everything was already looped. So usually when that happens, there's no fixing it. But because of the location that it happened in and I still had these diamonds patterns to loop up. I went ahead and put it all back together, turned the loom around, placed it the way I was supposed to, tried to kind of figure out where these little long bands went, and then um, turned the loom back around, and then I looped 
up the diamonds and that held everything together. So I thought I did pretty well thinking on the fly. Ooh, that was extremely stressful and I was up late trying to fix it so it was kind of crazy. But I'm also going to show you this. I went to a different website and it didn't have the option to, um, what was it? To play, to play it so that you could see how it was pronounced. It just had Hatshepsut. And that doesn't seem bad how I was saying it was different. I was on a different um, site and it showed a different pronunciation. That's why I was having a difficult time. So I found this one and it's Hatshepsut. So I'm going to play it so that you can hear it. And this is what it sounds like. At Shepset. At Shepset. Okay, Hat Shepset. Now I can say it. That's hilarious. That is hilarious that I can say that now. But this is cover that. This is um Hat Shepset is the Queen of Egypt of the 18th Dynasty. She built a great mortuary temple at Deir el Bari near Thebes. So that's what this is, um, the definition of Hatshepsut. So, and hopefully I didn't screw that up too much. And I want to thank you very much for watching and get me through this stress. And I'm just so happy that I, that I got it all to, in that spot to work out. And I'm happy with this, the design. And I hope you go ahead and give it a try. And uh, if you do, please uh, tag and hashtag uh, NixHaley22 on Instagram and also Artisan Loom. And um, we would love to see uh, the colors you choose and the additions you decide to make. And if you would like to go ahead and subscribe to my channel and you'll be able to be the first ones to know when I have a new design that I'm releasing. And also... Um, uh, follow me and Nick's Haley 22 on Instagram. So until next time, take care. Bye.